biggest thing I've learned about business is there's no single thing that makes it happen for you. There's, it's a multitude of different things and it's an ever-changing thing and you have to be flexible to be able to, to cope with changing ideas, people changing their minds and everything. You're just going to be totally flexible. And above all, have a great sense of humour. The first thing is, is that you need to network and you need to network with people that have been there and achieved it. So, you know, talk to people that have been successful. Secondly, you need to do your research. So you need to listen to your customers, talk to your customers and know exactly what they want. It's very easy when you're setting out in business to actually go with what you want. You need a business plan. And there are two key elements to a business plan. Firstly, what are the key metrics for your business? Whatever your business may be, understand those metrics and manage to those metrics. Because if it's measurable, it's manageable. And make sure you've got enough cash in your business. Too many profitable businesses go bust because of a lack of cash. I got to opening O Sushi without the money in place. And um, of course, by the time I opened, I had a queue down the block and I had the business angels writing out with their checkbooks. And I thought to myself, I'm going to have to go work for them. And I had three sponsors, Sony, Honda and all Nepal Airlines. They haven't given me a lot. They give me some cheap televisions and lent me a bike on the front door. I had sponsors all over the place. Still didn't have the money. Eventually, you know, I went to the bank with this queue down the block, said, you know, lend me some more money. No, you can't do that. You know, it doesn't tick the matrix box. You know, I thought last chance then I went to my biggest supplier. I said, would you give me some extended terms to pay off this out of the, the big debt I owe you? And, you know, they don't do that. They're not in the banking business. Do you know what? This guy came back two days later. He said, my board says yes. Couldn't believe it. And that's how I financed your sushi. I was way ahead of the money. And I said to this guy a few years later, I said, why did your company do that? He said, yeah, we well, said, we knew that you were safe as houses because you had those Japanese giant sponsors behind you, Sony, Honda and all Nippon Airlines. So as Mick Jagger said, you know, you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. You need to be really thorough as an entrepreneur. You can't just sort of have a dream and just kind of things going to happen to you. You need to be very thorough, very, very uh, persistent, um, and just be able to work very hard. There are always lessons to be learned. I don't have one particular hero role model, but I admire anyone who sets up a business and has the tenacity to stick with it and make it work. I think it's great. I think they make really interesting people, and I think, it's, I think they're courageous. Oh, Britain is crap at being entrepreneurial because it's A, it's a risk-averse country, B, the stigma of failure is so high that if you fail, you're considered to be a loser. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, there's a very, very famous record company who I won't name, whose who's, uh, chief executive and founder is a household name, who only used to employ bankrupts because they'd never want to go there again. And they were fantastically successful. Um, Entrepreneurism is a kind of word which has been stolen by people who don't understand it, like joined up thinking, out of the box, leading edge, bleeding edge, cutting edge, blue skies, all of that stuff. And most of the people who use language like that wouldn't recognize it if it bit them on the ass. The truth is that people who are entrepreneurial take risks, and risk is something that is, A, it's un-British, uh, and then when you're successful with it, they'll hate you for it. Um, no, I'm not going to stand up and say that Britain is good for being entrepreneurial. I think it is bad for being entrepreneurial and if you are prepared to risk your house, uh, which many people who are true entrepreneurs do in order to chase a dream, um, you will not find support just about anywhere except from in the bosom of your friends and family. And that's where you should look for support and never trash them. Everybody has talent. We're all you know, children of the planet and we've all got talents and they come in different parts and I'm, you know, I'm a believer that we, there's, you know, there's stuff that we inherit as well. But I think that what we're, one of the things we do in our education system is we take kids, like you guys were when you were 14, with enormous sort of imagination and talent and potential. And we spend the next four or five years educating that talent and imagination out of them. When what we want in business, even as employers, you know, certainly as entrepreneurs, what we want is self-motivated and creative people, you know, people who do it. And so what we do in that four years is we put the fear of God into them, that if they haven't got all these qualifications, it's all gonna go wrong, that everything's gonna go wrong. Mark Twain said, ignorance and confidence. That's all you need, I keep coming back to that one, ignorance and confidence, if you think, you know, I'll tell you straight, I don't mind looking at the camera and telling you, if you think about two things too long and too much, you won't do them. 
You know, one of the things that I do is I do stuff. You know, I do it. I do it. I have an idea. Pick it up. Make it happen. Blah, blah, blah. And what I find is that by doing things fast like that, and it's also a great way to kind of manage your life. You know, answer emails fast. One in twenty. One in thirty. You'll make a mistake. God, I wish I hadn't done that. But the benefit you get from getting things done quickly and getting them out of the way, making decisions and doing it, having enthusiasm for something and getting up and just doing it. You know, that just do it thing. Um, is something because you can strategize all you like there's usually a balance and a quid pro quo I can usually argue the opposite to pretty much any argument so it's only marginal that you'll go one way so very often it doesn't matter which way you go what matters is you make lots of decisions and you move quickly to make things happen